kiss Aunt Nita. And I don't hate you anymore. I love you. You bet I do. I've just received it. Oh, Merry Christmas, Cassie. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Aunt Nita. Merry Christmas. Here, let me help you, Henry. <laughs> That's one we'll never forget. Well, we were only five then. This Christmas we could be, um, eleven. If, uh, Kathy brings Dr. Harper and Betty brings Captain Carson. You know, it just occurred to me, they're awfully late this year letting us know their Christmas plan. Maybe they'll all be busy and nobody will come. Oh, fat chance. The way they roared in here for our anniversary. We're sound of ho, ho, ho and jingle bell. They come busting down the door. Hey, will you take down the big box? Oh, yeah. Oh, we got in there. <laughs> no. Not even the light. I want to ask you and Jim. All right, yeah. what is it? Well, maybe Jim knows it. George and Jan Newman next door are selling their house. Yeah. Oh, yes, yeah. I knew they were planning it. You didn't lose any time getting a prospect. <laughs> Those people I showed the house to, they're lukewarm about it. But they like the looks of yours. Now, I know this is sudden and right out of the blue, but Jim, have you and Margaret ever thought of selling? I know the children are all grown and out on their own. Maybe you don't need this much house. Oh, to tell you the truth, Louise, we've never given it a thought. Well, it's been home for so many years, what? Well, I couldn't imagine living anywhere else. Oh, sure. Believe me, I understand, but I had to ask. Yeah. If you should change your mind, I can sell it like that. Well, I'll tell you what, Louise. If we ever do change our mind, you'll be the very first person that we'll let know. Oh, thank you, Jim. There you are. Uh, Bye. <laughs> that is a wild idea. Oh, what will they do? Become a couple of gypsies? Well, no, we can buy a motor home, head for the hills. The children <laughs> would have a fit. Well, it might be quite an adventure. No matter where they are, this is still home. Yeah. Where are you going? See if I can find the outside Christmas lights. They're in the garage on the second shelf. In the box marked dishes. Hello? Yes. Yes, I'll <laughs> wait. Thank you. How about phone oh. call was from Betty? Did you tell her it was about time? Well, she's been waiting to hear from Frank. It doesn't look as though she and the girls will be here for Christmas. Why not? Well, it all comes from having a fiancé who was an airline pilot. Frank's been transferred to the overseas run. Rome, London, and he wants oh. Betty and the girls to go with him and spend Christmas in London. Well, you can't expect him to give that up. <laughs> ah, kind of looking forward to having him for a few days. Yeah. The girls are growing so fast. Oh! He found the light. Oh, yeah. <laughs> in the right box, too. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Yes, this is Jim Anderson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll wait. Margaret! Hi! I need a place to hide. Come on in. I couldn't stay over at our house. The suspense, waiting for the phone to ring. Well, what's happening? Well, we listed our house for sale with Louise Baker just this morning. This afternoon, a couple came through, and they're in her office right now deciding... Uh. I, I'm so excited, I haven't even shopped for dinner. Oh, well, come on in the house. I'm sure I've got something in the freezer to tide you over. No, Jenny, we haven't heard from him. Oh, as a matter, yes. Well, a couple of weeks ago, we got a postcard, you know, from, from uh, Glen Falls. He did, no, he didn't say anything about... Uh, when is he home or, or anything about Christmas? Well, how about a couple of ham steaks? Oh, perfect. I'll pay back tomorrow. Yeah. I am so keyed up. Because if this uh. deal goes through, George and I are giving each other a Christmas present. A cruise to South America. <gasps> and then we're going to live in Florida. Well, how fantastic. Well, I knew Bud never cared very much about living in a big city, but I didn't know you were seriously planning a move. I'm ready to go, Margaret. Yeah? yeah. We've loved living oh. next door to you and Jim. 
And well, we're going to miss you. I'll tell you what. Uh, Louis, uh, she, she, closed, uh, she hey. closed the deal. Oh, oh, no. No. That's like phoning from the middle of a basketball oh. game. <laughs> Phew, oh. Oh, Jeannie. Well, what did she say? Well, Bud's off somewhere looking for a place to move his business, and I guess Christmas is the last thing on their mind. Well, that leaves Kathy. Yeah. At least she's never let us down. Why don't you put in a call to her and I'll start the dinner? Okay. Don't you? Ah. Hi, honey. Hi. <laughs> How are you? Wonderful. Say, uh, we were putting our plans together for Christmas. We were just wondering if... Oh. Oh, yeah. Well, that sounds like a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he must have twisted his arm. <laughs> well, you'll have a good time up there. That's good for country. Yeah, well, uh, I, uh, we'll miss you, of course, honey. But I'll tell you what. You call us Christmas Eve, and uh, we'll sing Deck the Halls over long distance. Huh? <laughs> okay, darling. God bless. Goodbye, dear. Not coming. She and Dr. Jason had an invitation to go skiing up at Elk Mountain. But they'll be here for New Year's. Well, I suppose it had to happen sometime. Our first Christmas without the children. Where, why? Sweatshirts, baseball caps, t-shirts, fun gear for the cool kid in your unit. Wear, why, and get noticed. Perfect for holiday gift giving. Order yours by calling this toll-free number today. 1-800-665-9881. Charge it to your Visa, MasterCard, or American Express. Money orders accepted too. Wear, why, and make a scene. Time and time again, one battery has risen above the rest. When the dust has settled, it's always been the one left standing. Today's Duracell is the longest lasting ever, which makes it the longest lasting Duracell. Tequila. You can buy. Case closed. Introducing Pillsbury Pie Trust. Flaky pie crust and nothing flat. The fresh home baked taste is good as scratch. With new Pillsbury pie crust, you've got it made. Oh, oh. In the dairy case. Big news at the Huggies Lab. What a breakthrough. Totally rethought, refined, redesigned. New Huggies Ultra Trim Diapers. A smart way to help stop leaks. They're nearly 50% thinner than ordinary diapers for a trimmer pant-like fit. And now reprogrammed with unique curved leg elastics. Plus revolutionary materials absorb better than ever to help stop leaks. New Huggies Ultra Trim. Totally redesigned to create big smiles. <laughs> Don't like that. No. Oh, I love him. <laughs> you would. Oh. It's probably more expensive than that thing oh. over there. No, it is. You know, I think we just established a new world record. What time? The longest distance two people ever walked in one department store in one night. Well, if the children aren't coming home for Christmas, we've got to get these gifts in the mail. I know, I know. Oh, toys are getting more wonderful every year. Yeah. Oh, Jerry, yeah. look. Oh. <sighs> Any money home? <laughs> oh, look at all the suits and dresses in the wardrobe. Oh, and those darling little slippers by the bed. <laughs> Wouldn't Jenny just love it? You're a natural born spoiler, Grandma. Oh, may I help you? 
We're just admiring the doll house. Oh, you're Mr. and Mrs. Anderson, aren't you? Mm-hmm. Kathy Ferris. Yes. Yes, and, and your friend of Kathy's, and I wish I could remember your name. Marilyn Murphy. Kathy and I were together on a swimming team in high school. Oh, mm -hmm. Listen, how's Kathy? Oh, she's teaching in Kansas City. You know, uh, swimming, skiing, all kinds of sports like that. She married? Almost. <laughs> I know all your kids always come home for Christmas. Give them my best. Yes. Yeah. Yes, you will. Merry Christmas. Thank, Thank you. you. Well, it's a little hard to tell people your children aren't coming home for Christmas. Yeah. Oh, Jim, look. Have you been drinking your milk and eating your vegetables and being a real good girl? Then I'll come by and see you Christmas Eve, okay? Oh, the time we brought ours to see Santa. <laughs> you know, I think it's the same guy. <laughs> I was looking forward to bringing Robbie and Jenny and Ellen. Yeah. Well, maybe next year. I don't think so. What? Well, next year, Bud and Betty and Kathy will be farther away and deeper into their own lives. Well, we can't change that. Nothing stays the same. You know that, honey. I know. Jim, let's sell the house. Sell a house? You mean that? So what do we need it for? We bought it in the first place because we were having the children. They're gone, and well, there's no need for it. Well, let's talk about it another time. Come on, let's go by the dollhouse for the girls. <laughs> so, Merry Christmas again, folks. Uh, thanks. Merry. Wish this weren't Christmas. You want to skip it? We can, you know. All we have to do is mail the presents and forget the whole thing. The hard part is understanding that, that the children really don't care anymore. Oh, well, they showed up for our anniversary. Oh, after you called and asked them to come. I mean, let's think a while about selling the house. There's so much here, all of our lives with the children. But that was a time, and that time is gone. We'll sell the house and, and begin a new time. Oh, I'll cry a little, but that'll be the end of it. I have to tell you, Jim, I was surprised when you called. I really didn't think when it came right down to it that you and Margaret would sell. Well, I was kind of surprised myself. We decided... Uh, suddenly, last night, the hot water heater blew up. <laughs> no, we were in the toilet part. We watched the tiny club. The agreement to sell. Oh. You can check the terms. I think it's all there as you gave it to me on the phone. Hmm. I hope you're ready to move. It's going to sell fast. Yeah. You and Margaret have any plans? What you'll do? No. Uh, <laughs> I think we'll just try to get through Christmas first. <laughs> Such a busy time with the children and the grandchildren. Well, it's a little different this year. They, uh, they all have other plans. They do scatter, don't they? Like leaves in the wind. I'll call Margaret and set a time to go through the house. I've never seen all of it. Well, you won't have any problems. It's not very crowded. <laughs> Jim, I know how you and Margaret must feel. I'll try to make it all as painless as possible. I know, Louise. Thank you. You're very sweet. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye-bye. We need some pictures of that house. I love the view from this kitchen window. Well, it's especially pretty in the spring when the lilacs come into bloom. Well, we, uh, we remodeled this kitchen about uh, two years ago. Oh, I hated to lose that old wooden drain board. It reminded me of Grandfather's kitchen. I must say, your kitchen looks brand new. Well, the children weren't raised in this one. But there are a few battle scars. Are oh, those marks what I think they are? Yeah. That's where we measured how much the children grew each year. Well, it'll all be painted over. You know, some people whose house I sold last month had the same thing. 
They took the whole piece of wood out and took it with them. Oh, well, I'm afraid if we took all our memories with us, we'd have to tear down the whole house. Oh, I'm sorry. The children aren't coming for Christmas. Jim said Betty and the girls would be in London. Well, the airline pilot Betty met when she was in high school is very important in her life again. But they're engaged. That's lovely. We don't have air conditioning, but the house is insulated, and, uh, oh, the furnace was new um, five years ago. Excuse me. I'll just mosey around. Hello? Margaret, I'm home. Margaret! She's on the phone. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I didn't know you were here. Mm. Margaret and I oh. were just finishing up with the facts and figures. <laughs> it's a good house. Yeah, it's kept us warm and snug for a good many years. Jim, yeah. let me just phone. Yeah? Frank's bringing the girls down on his 120 flight. Isn't Betty coming? Well, she has a meeting in Milwaukee, but she'll be alone later. Whatever happened in London? Oh, I don't know. There was so much noise in that connection, I could only hear half of what she said. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Louise. We're having a little trouble keeping track of our offspring. <laughs> well, we're finished anyway. <laughs> oh. I'll put on my parka and disappear into the Arctic afternoon. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Margaret. Yes. Well, thanks a lot for coming over. Okay, goodbye, dear. Goodbye. Oh, goodbye. Bye. Oh, what do you know? I had a feeling that as sure as we put this house in the market, at least one of the children would have a change of heart. Oh, I don't think there'll be any action before Christmas. No one buys a house during the holidays. Captain Carlton going to fly the Atlantic? It's all true. First run tomorrow. You make it and we'll give you a ticker tape parade. So, can you get me a rental car, Julie? I need it for a couple hours. I'm going to be taking flight 34 back to Chicago tonight. You want a rose or Bentley? That surprised me. Oh. What? We can find the bathroom. I told you it was right around the corner. Oh, the fun to see George's pictures on. That's right. One has a picture of a lady and one has a picture of a man. The man was waiting at camp too. And you finally found it? Finally. Oh, good. Now come on, let's get going. Nan and Grandpa are waiting for you. You got your car. Oh, oh nice. Thank you. See you later. Ah, here come the Chicago Bears. <gasps> No reason for the girls to stay around in Chicago while Betty was in Milwaukee. Yeah. And she figured you wouldn't suffer too much if you had them for a few days. <laughs> you can imagine how much you would suffer. Come on. Oh. Warm yourself with the fire. Well, that's what I need. <laughs> hey, uh, what was all that uh, stuff about uh, uh, Christmas in London? The girls didn't want to go. We were in London. Come on, open the coat. <laughs> smiling face. It's a gift, an embrace. It's nuts, fire roasted, and coconut toasted. It's butter and milk. It's chocolate like silk. It's your feelings best told when you give pot of gold. The gift that's wrapped in a rainbow. Creamy vanilla nougat and buttery caramel. It's a special part of my day. Mars for a day. Work, rest, and play. Wear why? Sweatshirts. Baseball caps. T-shirts. Fun gear for the cool kid in your unit. Wear why and get noticed. Perfect for holiday gift giving. Order yours by calling this toll-free number today. 
1-800-665-9881. Charge it to your Visa, MasterCard, or American Express. Money orders accepted, too. Wear why and make a scene. Yesterday, ha! the kids called him Dad. What's up? Today, they call him Mrs. Doubtfire. Mrs. Doubtfire. Mrs. Doubtfire. I'm a hippo granny who could hip hop, bebop, hop, dance, sing, and drop, and yo yo make a wicked cup of cool cool. Robin Williams <laughs> is Mrs. Doubtfire. <laughs> now playing at theaters everywhere. Oh, go on. You know what you're talking about. You remember? Don't get your shopping cases. Sit down, Brett. Something. Well, now we have them settled. What about you and Betty? Well, let's see. Uh, I arrive in Chicago from Rome at 11 a.m. the day before Christmas. Mm -hmm. Betty meets me at the airport. I catch the 12:20 flight to Springfield. We're here at Christmas Eve. <laughs> That's going to take some careful timing. Well, I was told by your lovely daughter Betty if I want to marry her and be the father to those kids, I have to be around on all the holidays, no matter what, and I promise. Uh, uh, at least you'll be safe with us tonight. Oh, no, Margaret, I'm sorry. i got to be back in 40 minutes. Oh. Uh, let me say goodbye to the kids. Well, here we go. Girls! Girls, come on down and say goodbye to your almost father. <laughs> Good luck in all your travels. Thanks. Thanks. We'll meet you at the airport on oh, Christmas Eve. Okay, I'll be there. Hey! <laughs> oh. See you Christmas Eve. Okay. Hey. Okay. Take care of yourself. Well, have a nice day, girl. All right, Pete. All right, bye-bye. Bye, Frank. Bye. Bye. Well, girls, how about some uh, cocoa and cookies in the kitchen? And marshmallows. <laughs> oh, <laughs> marshmallows. Girl, just one more and we'll be finished. Yay! How about that? Yay! Now, you kids better get in the side before you freeze. Oh, not much enough. How does that look? I think you got too many green ones together. Well, you know what that is. These are made in Ireland, and they love green over there. That too. No, he just made that up. Well, I was wondering when you'd get around to putting up the rest of your lights. Yeah, I don't want to trouble you, George. Girls, you know Mr. Newman from next door? Yeah, yes. hi. How's he doing, ladies? I think you got too many green ones together. Well, how's the sale of your house going, Jim? That's not Grandpa. Say, Jim, you, you hear the weather on the news? We haven't had the TV on. What's happening? They say we're in for a blizzard. Yay! It's not for Christmas! Yeah, it's building up in Canada. In the next three or four days, it's supposed to come howling through here, warnings to farmers, cautioning against travel, the whole thing. Well, you better run up your snow shovel, George. Say, what's house, Grandpa? Well, uh, I'm going to go inside where it's warm. But you take care of your Grandpa, girls. We will. Well... I guess that's it. How about it? The question now is, will they light up? How <laughs> are they out here? Oh, honey, uh, turn on the outside light, will you? Yay! Yay! Okay? All right! Grandpa? Yeah? Has Mr. Newman talking about when he the sale of your house? Well, that's uh, sometime in the future, honey. We'll talk about it later. <laughs> Come on, get in there. Hurry up. See it. You girls remember last year we had the tree with the window. I like it better by the fireplace. I like to see on Christmas cards. Well, that's your point. point. <laughs> the by the front window in the daytime you can see right through it. That's the thing. Yes. Well, I, uh, I think I like the fireplace, too. Well, let's take a vote. Yeah. I vote for the fireplace. All those in favor of the fireplace. Well, Wonderful, we couldn't be happier. Well, of course, we'll wait up for you. You drive happy now. Bye. Bud and Jean and Robbie are coming. They're in Hailsbury. <laughs> Bud said they'll be here by midnight. That's <laughs> neat. Then everybody will be here. Yeah. You said it there at the first sound of Jingle Bells. Oh, my favorite scene. Please, please, please. Oh, I know. I wish you could, but by the time they get here, oh, you'll be please. visiting with the Sugar Plum Fairies. Oh, Oh, it's a long yeah. way, and it'll be late. You have no idea. It'll be after midnight. Oh, Maybe one o'clock. Some. Yeah. Oh. 
Oh, do you think something happened? Oh, honey, you know, bud. He calculates his time of arrival based upon 125 miles an hour. And then goes 55. <laughs> there they are. I'll get the zombie. Come on, let you go, kid. Ah, come on. Kathy can't make it. Yeah. Well, laugh, though. I heard dragging poor old Jason out, making him go skiing. Oh, but <laughs> I know that's the last thing in the world a guy wants to do. <laughs> yeah. Well, if he wants to keep up with Kathy, he's got to get used to it. Uh, <laughs> Betty and her airline captain still got together? Oh, yeah, she almost had a nail in the post. Oh, Jim. <laughs> I think the only thing standing in the way is a job. Well, Betty's concerned that he's away from home too much to make a good father. He disagrees. Get a load of this. He gets... Through with a round trip to Rome at 11.30 a.m. the day before Christmas. Betty flies from Milwaukee to Chicago. They join and take the 12.20 to Springfield. Oh, boy. <laughs> How about that? She's going to be out of it. Yeah, it's that the way the weather's been going, the Chicago airport could be closed for Christmas. Well, I oh. think Frank will get them here if he has to come by dog sled. <laughs> well, how are things? Oh, things are good. Yeah. Well, I mean, I still don't see him very often. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, I have been running around lately. I'm, I'm trying to find a, uh, a new location for the bike shop. Mm. Jane's not uh, happy living in the city, and I can't blame her, really. I didn't say that. And I'm not crazy about living in an apartment in Minneapolis, but I'd be happy anywhere Bud could settle and be contented. <coughs> <laughs> hmm. Well, um, Jim and I have some news for you. What? Oh, well, uh... <laughs> Uh, your mother and I have decided to sell the house. Oh, no. Sell the house? Mm -hmm. Why? Well, we talked it over and we think we don't need this bigger house. Oh, my oh. gosh. Well, I got kind of worried how long we were going to hang on to it, but... Well, the time has come, the walrus said. Oh, it's going to seem strange. Mm -hmm. We've always thought of you and Margaret and this house as being sort of the one thing that would just never change, that you'd <laughs> always be here. Well, it hasn't been an easy decision. Why should I come to your house for Christmas? Oh. oh. Time and time again, one battery has risen above the rest. When the dust has settled, it's always been the one. Today's Duracell is the longest lasting ever, which makes it the longest lasting Duracell. Tequila. You can buy. It's closed. I like my Jillian to look dressed up, even when she's not dressed up. Dr. Jennifer Mayer, pediatrician and mother. But one thing I won't compromise on is dryness. That's why I like these new Pampers prints. They've got great looking patterns and nothing keeps my Jillian drier here. Compared to the next most popular diaper, Pampers for walkers help prevent leaks better. <laughs> when she's drier, she's happier. Now all the dryness of Pampers also comes in the cutest new prints. For your little prince and princess. You know what's Amy again? Yeah. So man, I gotta stop breaking out by then. You're not washing with Clearasil every day? No, so why? Soap's fine for cars. We're talking about your face. Look, without cleansing, acne pimples may form. But Clearasil Daily Face Wash fights bacteria and helps them stop pimples before they start. Wow, looking clean. But she missed the button. Where? Right over here. Clearasil. Get clear, stay clear. This holiday season. Ha! 
Robin Williams is the man of the year. Look at me right now, money penny. I want to undo that bow and get to know you. And the woman of the year. Hello! Surprise! In the movie of the year. Theaters everywhere. Well, for cold, but 20 degrees above zero, hold it up to freeze your nose. Where did you get a snow on? Ask your mother and Frank Thompson to get here, I hope not. Get up to the table and I'll start breakfast. I couldn't wait. Good morning, Anna. Oh, really? Not a bit. Oh. Well, you should have slept in. You had a bad trip yesterday. Yeah, What's your breakfast? Uh, scrambled egg. Tuck, mean, or easy. What kind do you have? And I'll have time. Oh, All right. <laughs> How can you bear to sell the house, Margaret? Well, like I said, it's not going to be easy. No, I've never lived in a house. Never in my life. Now, that's hard to imagine. I've always wanted a, oh, a home where no one lives above or below. When you walk upstairs, it's still yours. A house just like this. Canadians would keep their blizzards to themselves. Be right back. Yeah, that's okay. 
Problems, problems. Everybody's got their problems. What are yours, son? Thanks, Dad. Well, it's Jean. She's just not happy. I don't know. We, things were going good after we all got together for your anniversary. I know, it's been kind of going downhill since then. Are you away a lot? Well, no. No, not that much anymore. I, I'm only racing locally now. Oh, I, I wish I knew what was bugging her. Maybe she'd like to know what's bugging you. I'm sorry, I'm double parked out in front. I'm in a hurry. Can, sorry, I'm going to call you back. Look, uh, can you cool the sale of the house till after the holidays? The kids showed up after all, and you know it'd be awkward showing it with people going in and out. You understand? Sure, but I can't do it, Jim. Why not? But I have a hot prospect coming in from out of town, and there's no way to reach it. How far out of town? Indianapolis. Oh. He and his family are making a trip just for the purpose. Well, I guess that's settled that. I'm being paid. Well, so long, dear. Thank you. I'm sorry, Jim. That's all right. Yeah. Really, too bad. Okay, goodbye. I think selling this house will be the greatest thing you and Dad ever did. Well, it's not the easiest. Well, you can move to Colorado. Get a place in Aspen. Jason and I could live up there to see you. Poor Jason. The way you treat him at the world, he even speaks to you. Mother, he loves it. In Kansas City, he's known as the great Dr. Harper Super Surgeon, and everybody cow-cows to him. And I call him a clutch. Do you love him? Yeah, Mom, I do. He's a great guy. Well, that's a good start.
dawn. to your Visa, MasterCard, or American Express. Money orders accepted, too. Wear Y and make a scene. Introducing Pillsbury Pie Crust. Homemade flaky pie crust and nothing flat. everyone by surprise. Oh, Louise, I apologize. Counterfeit, you've caught us in a terrible mess. I should have called first. I'm sorry we ran short of time. This is the Hendricks family. How are you? you? So we had a minor flood in the kitchen. The kids were sailing the boat and the lake ran over. Uh, Sounds like home. Well, uh, Louise, why don't you show the Hendricks around? You you know the house. All right. Just be careful in the kitchen because it's still kind of wet. No problem. We'll start in the dining room. Get your coat. Yes, come along. Let's look through here first, shall we? Come on. Okay. Okay. I've been uh, walking around. <laughs> what a difference between this place and, and Minneapolis. I was going to run into ten people, I know. What's out uh, the window? Nothing. I'm just thinking about how your mother must feel. These houses meant a lot to her. I love it too. Come here, Oh, 
but hello, I'm sorry to bite you. Now, you like this? I was a very family with you. This is Bud Anderson. I do. <laughs> and the few over here, we can see the whole street from over here. Come on. Isn't that pretty? As you can see all the way down the block. This is dumb time to sell the house. Stop grousing. If we'd known you were all coming, we could have waited. We're not mind readers, you know. Oh, all right, come in. Oh, yes, yeah, do. Uh, this was our girls' room. You have a lovely home, Mrs. Uh, Anderson. Just what we've been looking for. Well, thank you. Just uh, make yourselves at home. The colors in this room are lovely, aren't they? Really, sweetie, we have two closets for the clothing and bath on that side. <laughs> Together. That's home. Yeah, but it won't be like this. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I really feel stupid. Now, grown-ups cry, too. Come on, there. Oh, Kathy. Ah. Oh, Mr. Hendrick. Have we shown you the whole house? Yes, and we loved it. Oh, Your good. house is just beautiful. Thank you for letting us know. Oh, it seems to have everything we've been looking for. Mom. Thanks very much. Oh, Bye, Bye now. Thank you again. Come on. Oh. Goodbye. Oh.
know what I'm missing is this, all this right here. Tom. You really think it's taken us 12 years to find out we weren't the same thing? Well, 
What do you know about that? And look at all the decorations. I never saw anything like it before. Oh, Daddy, I feel kind of all shivery inside. That's all right, baby. You know something? So do I. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Kathy. Oh, I, 
I got some business to cross town. Oh, I love it. You know, you know, I'm going to do the last bit of shopping on the way down. Oh. <laughs> Charmer. He probably went Christmas shopping. Oh, Daddy! Oh, well, oh, I'm sorry, Mother. Oh, you're here. Oh, yeah, I know it. Hello? Yes, she is. Just one minute, please. Mom, it's for you! Will you girls please stop yelling in the house? Hello? Eddie? I'm in Chicago. We have headwinds coming in, landed late. I missed my last plane south. Oh, Frank, the girls will be so disappointed. I'll get there, I guarantee it. Frank, what kind of a plane? Well, you be careful. Bye-bye. Is anything wrong? He got in late, missed the plane down here, the only flight today. Well, he can take the first flight out in the morning. He insists he'll be here for Christmas Eve. He's borrowing a plane, flying it down himself. Well, I'm, I'm sure he's watching the weather. Mother, he insisted. It's snowing more. Captain Frank is flying snow. I know that. What's that, good, Nana? Ah, oh, pumpkin pies for tomorrow. <laughs> What is it? It grinds up stuff. Why do you plug it in? You don't plug it in. Don't take that apart, Robbie. Oh. Frank came into my life the year I graduated from high school. He was a pilot in the Air Force, and we had a very short, very beautiful first romance. It was very real then. And so very real now. Never guess who that is up there. This uh, isn't anything serious, is it? I know it sounds silly. The giddy schoolgirl who meets the handsome flyer. But it's not that. This is real. For the first time in my life, I... I know what it means to love someone. For the first time, I understand how you feel toward Mother, and she feels toward you. Father, don't pick up the phone. Why not? Well, I'm waiting for a call. They're transferring some of the pilots, sending them to Alaska this morning. If he's going to stay, he's going to call at exactly 9 o'clock. If he's going to go, there'll be no call because he'll be flying over our house on his way north.
Goodbye. Well, where's your Christmas cheer? I just talked to air traffic control. It's snowing all along the route from here to Chicago. Frank's flying alone in it somewhere. Well, what time's he supposed to be here? His flight plan said 5.20. Six o'clock now. When did you last hear from him? Over an hour ago. He said he was eight miles north east of Springfield and asked for landing instructions. That's the last we heard of him. We lost radar contact a few minutes later. Thank you. They've lost radar contact. No one knows where he is. He can take care of himself, honey. Frank's blowing weather like this worse than this. Many, many times, believe me. You know what I can't figure out? With all this experience, why'd he even take off with a storm coming down on him? He did it to please me. I mean, such a big deal. He had to be here for Christmas Eve. He did it for me. Time you got to bed. Oh, come on, Dad. No, 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 come on. Come on. Good night, Kathy. Good night, Dad. Good night, Robbie. Good night, Robbie. Good night. Good night, honey. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. I should have told him not to come. idea how much fuel he had. About five hours of flying. At 7.30, he burned the last of it. He's down somewhere around Clintville, as near as we can tell. If he doesn't call in, we'll start a search in the morning. Thank you very much. out for me because it turns out that the farmer was an ex-pilot. Ah, ah. I knew I was in trouble. He got his truck out, aimed the lights right down the pasture. I landed and drove me all the way back here. Oh, oh, that's that's right. Right. Oh, oh. I mean, the phone was out. I did the best I could. I know. Captain Carlson, <laughs> what's this? Ooh, that's one of the... I must have taken my head's gifts by mistake. He had a whole truckload full of them. <laughs> Thank you again for everything you did for me. It's all in the spirit of Christmas, son. Merry Christmas to all. Merry, Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Merry Christmas. And to all a good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you. That's weird. 
What's his name? You know, he didn't tell me. Time is any to tell you. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, the house has been sold. Oh, really? oh, no. This house for sale? Yeah. You never even told me. Well, when, well I didn't have a chance. When, uh, when did this happen? Oh, a little while ago. But, uh, Look, everybody, now, don't have such long faces. We'll have our reunions. We'll still get together. But it won't be the same. It won't be here. Well, I know, honey, but... <laughs> Listen, as uh, long as we're making announcements, I'd like to make one. I've got some good news and some bad news. The bad news is that uh, Robbie and Jean and I have to leave tomorrow for Minneapolis. Oh, oh, right. Now, now, now oh, the good news, as a uh, Christmas present for Jean, I'm the one who bought the house. Oh, 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 Isn't that something? Can you know it all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it took me 12 years to figure out that, well, Springfield and a house like this is what we've been looking for, huh? Now, all I need for Mom and Dad is a small down payment and a lot of time on the balance. Uh, you got it. You got it. Yeah. No, how happy. <laughs> well, we couldn't have planned it any better. You know what? This is really super. Next year, we can all pile in on Bud and Jean. Hey, that's yeah. a good idea. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. 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 make the move. Oh, you tell us. Well, as soon as you and Jim decide what you want to do. What a Christmas! I think we can all second that. Uh, what a Christmas! Boy, you really get mixed up with these Andersons. Yeah, you never know what they'll do next. Oh, oh. Well, that's not fair at all. All the years in this house. What a wonderful way to keep this family together. Yeah. Do you think we should tell them the roof leaks? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it all started when a bunch of us as sellers got together to help fight cystic fibrosis. It's a lung disease that was killing thousands of kids across Canada. We were ready to walk to the moon if it would help. So we called it Mama. We've raised millions of dollars. Why don't you join the Moonwalk team this Christmas? When you shop at Zellers, donate your Cubs Ed points to Moonwalk. Step by step, we can beat cystic fibrosis. To the Zellers employees, friends, and people across Canada who make Moonwalk a success, thank you and Merry Christmas. Introducing Pillsbury Pie Crust. Who made flaky pie crust and nothing flat? my Jillian to look dressed up, even when she's not dressed up. Dr. Jennifer Mayer, pediatrician and mother. But one thing I won't compromise on is dryness. That's why I like these new Pampers prints. They've got great looking patterns and nothing keeps my Jillian drier here. Compared to the next most popular diaper, Pampers for walkers help prevent leaks better. <laughs> when she's drier, she's happier. Now all the dryness of Pampers also comes in the cutest new prints for your little prince and princess. They say you're gonna bloom. What are you, plant life? Please. You've got all these decisions. You've got a life. Hey, you can make it come up roses. It helps to use pH balance secret. Dryness protection when you want it most. See what happens when you protect one side with secret? When the pressure's on. Secret antiperspirant works harder to help keep you drier. So when you're faced with one of these, you won't pull one of these. Secret. Strong enough for him, but pH balance just for you. Oh, 
in the works when Santa calls on YTV. Catch him Friday at 6 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific. Check your local listings for exact times and ho, 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 you know.